This is the temp drop and this is the fertility to family thermometer. A $200 thermometer and a $20 thermometer. We'll look at what's better. So my temp drop is on. I'm sleeping. <laughs> It's Demi and today we're going to be looking at tracking your cycle with two different thermometers. I'll take you through how I use these thermometers as well so you'll see my little morning and night routine that I do to take my temperature in my mouth with this thermometer or take my temperature by wearing this on my arm. Let's start with why you would even track your temperature. So in order to track our menstrual cycles, we can track our basal body temperature. And your basal body temperature is your lowest body temperature after a period of rest. And usually you need to have slept for three to four hours uninterrupted by waking up or getting up with children or even getting up to go to the bathroom. You would need to have that three to four hours of sleep uninterrupted before you go and you take your oral basal body temperature in the morning when you're ready to get up for the day. The reason you would do that is to track ovulation. So ovulation is when our ovary releases an egg and when that happens our body produces progesterone which is a hormone but progesterone also produces heat. So what happens after we ovulate is that our body temperature rises. You can see on this graph here that all the temperatures before ovulation were much much lower and then ovulation happened and then the temperatures are much higher after ovulation. So it's this really cool sign from our body to tell us that we've ovulated and if we can tune into it, we can know that we've ovulated, we can know what phase of our cycle we're in, we can know how to expect to feel physically, mentally, emotionally and we can predict when our next period is coming because our next period is about two weeks after ovulation happens. If you want to learn more about how to track your cycle phases and basal body temperature, then you can actually get my book and I talk about it in there. But today I want to specifically talk about getting set up with a thermometer that you can use to track your basal body temperature. So what are these two thermometers? Let's start with this one. This is the temp drop thermometer and it's a wearable thermometer. So you put it on your arm, um, just under your armpit, and it's got a sensor on the back of it. And that sensor will sit against your skin and it will take your temperature throughout the night at multiple times. You wear it throughout your sleep and then you take it off when you're ready to get up for the day. Now, a lot of people think that they're disqualified from tracking their basal body temperature because they can't get a full night of sleep consistently. So maybe you're a shift worker and you can't actually take your temperature at the exact same time every morning because that's a really important thing that you try and take it at the same time every morning. Um, or maybe you're a new parent with kids and you're getting up throughout the night to feed them or to help them and be with them. Or maybe you're someone who has insomnia or whatever other reason that you're not actually able to get that three to four hours of uninterrupted sleep and to be able to take your temperature at the exact same time every single morning. So if that's you, a lot of people in that scenario feel like, oh, well, I just can't track my cycle. I can't track basal body temperature. But that's not true because there is the temp drop. So what the temp drop does is that it has an algorithm that can learn your patterns of maybe getting up in the night or waking up throughout the night, um, getting up to go to the bathroom, getting up with kids. It can learn those patterns and start to, I guess, filter around them to be able to give you an accurate reading of what your basal body temperature was throughout that night, even if you were up and down throughout the night or even if you're a shift worker and you had to sleep throughout the day rather than throughout the night. And I just, I love that that means that it, it's making cycle tracking more inclusive. Like you're not disqualified, you're not excluded from being able to track your cycle, to learn all the helpful information about your cycle, to even use um, fertility awareness methods for contraception or conception. Um, you're not disqualified from all of that just because you have an irregular sleep cycle. So I really love the temp drop because of that. You can use the temp drop if you don't have an irregular sleep schedule. 
I don't have an irregular sleep schedule and I still love to use it um, because it can give you some really interesting insights into your basal body temperature. And sometimes like it's easier just to put this on um, rather than wake up in the morning at the exact same time. Like for instance, on a weekend, I don't have to set my alarm for seven o'clock, which is my usual get up time. I can sleep in and I don't have to worry about that sleep in affecting my temperature. And so that can be a positive. The other thing that I love about Temp Drop is that they're always improving their app and they're always improving like the capabilities of the technology. So they're actually coming out with sleep data. Um, like this will track your sleep and give you some data about your sleep as well. And by the time this video goes up and you're watching it, that, that might already be out. I'll leave information in the description about that. But um, I just love how like you purchase this and you purchase it for basal body temperature tracking, but because they're always improving each month, you might have something new that the temp drop can do that you're like, oh, bonus. <laughs> The temp drop though is also a little bit of a pricier option. So it's up around $169 US, which is around 200 ish dollars Australian. So it is a more expensive option. So a lot of people are wondering, is that worth the investment? Is that right for me? So we'll be diving into who this is best for as the video goes along. But let me tell you about the other thermometer that I use, which is the fertility to family thermometer. Now, the temp drop was a $200 thermometer. This is about a $20, $25 thermometer. I have a discount code, which is brightgirl15. So you can get 15% off the full price, which is about $25 at the time of filming this video. Um, and with the temp drop, I actually have a discount code as well. So it's brightgirltd11, um, and that will get you 11% off uh, the temp drop. At the time of this video, it's brightgirltd11, but check the description. That could potentially change to become a larger discount as time goes on. Um, those are affiliate links. You can feel free to use them. It would help me out, but you don't have to use them. Anyway, let's go back to the fertility to family thermometer. I've been using this for a really long time and I really love it. This is all you need to get started if you've got a regular sleep pattern and regular sleep schedule. So if you're not a shift worker, you don't have insomnia or kids and you're getting more than four hours of sleep each night and you're waking up consistently around the same time each day, you don't need the temp drop. You can get started with basal body temperature tracking with just a simple and cheap thermometer like this. And I still use this even though I have the temp drop because I like it. I, I also try out products all the time and so I'm, I'm using them both but it does the job. It does everything that you need it to do. So bottom line, unless you have sleep disturbances or irregular sleep patterns, all you need is a cheap thermometer like this. Now it doesn't do fancy things like sync to your phone like the temp drop does, and it doesn't have a big memory so it can store one temperature and that's it. Other, other more expensive thermometers like this can store um, a couple of temperatures. It just stores the one temperature. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for it to get your temperature and then it beeps when it's done. And then you just manually go and you put it in your phone into your app. So that's all you need to get started. But if you're someone who does have an irregular sleep schedule, then you might be interested in the temp drop. So I'm going to show you how to use it, how I use it, how I sync it with my app. And then I'll also show you my routine with my fertility to family thermometer as well, just so that you can see the differences in them, the differences in the routine, and you can decide what you want use. All right, so let's go up to my bedroom, which is where I like do my little temperature routines every day. And I'll take you through that routine. Okay, everyone, we're in my bedroom because this is where all the temperature taking happens in the morning and in the night. So, um, let me like get cozy. This is my bedside table and this is where I keep my, my thermometer. So I've got my fertility to family thermometer here in its case. And then I also have on my bedside table my temp drop thermometer as well. So let's start from the morning time. My temp drop thermometer, um, we'll save that for, a sec for in a second. So imagine it, I'm asleep. So let's start with the oral thermometer routine. And so it has a case, I'll usually have it in its case 
by my bedside table. And I personally have a 7.30 alarm in the morning. My alarm goes off every day at 7.30. And whether I intend to get up at 7.30 or nine o'clock, it still goes off. And when that goes off, I just reach over to my bedside table and I pick up the thermometer and I put it in my mouth. And like, I usually do that while I'm still like laying down, Usually I'll put it in my mouth and I'll fall back to sleep and then it beeps to tell me that it's done and that beep wakes me up. I turn it off, take it out and I can either go back to sleep or I can get up for my day. So all that really looks like is me reaching over, putting it in my mouth and then chilling for a minute. And then later on, once I'm like awake and alive and not a half asleep zombie, I'll then like look at the temperature and I'll enter it into my phone, into my um, Kindara app. So I like using the Kindara app and I'll either do that just like after I get up or I can do it in the night time as well, like if I've forgotten. But I can't forget because once I take the next day's temperature, then the day before that temperature will be wiped. So I just have to make sure that I input the temperature from the thermometer into my app within like the 24 hours. So now let's start the temp drop routine. So here's my temp drop. Now the temp drop routine starts the night before as I'm going to bed. So this is the temp drop armband and you have the sensor as well. So the sensor pops in and out of the armband. So when you get it out of your box, you just need to put the sensor into the armband and it just clicks in pretty easily. And then you can also adjust your armband to fit your arm size. So everyone's got a different shape and sized arms. So make sure your armband fits you nice and comfortably. And this armband is just for a little bit of a comfier fit. Some people find that the plastic um, holder in this armband might be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. I never have had a problem with mine, but everyone has a different arm. Everyone has different sensory preferences with like what's touching them during the night as well. So if you want a nice soft or fabric one, there's that option as well. And then as I'm getting into bed and I'm about to go to sleep, I then put my temp drop on. So what you wanna do is if your arm's facing up, you want it to be facing upwards on your arm so that when your arm goes down, the, t the top, the tip of the temp drop is actually facing down. And it's really important that the sensor, which is on the back there, that the sensor is in between your bicep and tricep. So in that soft skin in between there, that's the spot it needs to be in to accurately read your temperature. So it must be in that spot. So all I do is I just like slip it onto my arm. I make sure the sensor is placed just like on top of my armpit. And then once the sensor's in place, I can go and just adjust my armband a little bit. Now that it's in place, I can turn it on. You can turn it on before you put it onto your arm or you can turn it on now. I'm turning it on now. You do a long press until it starts flashing green. And now I'm ready to go to sleep, so uh, bye. So my temp drop is on and I'm sleeping and I've had my whole night of sleep and I'm ready to get up for the day. So I can get up and I just take off my armband. So I take it off and I can just leave it by my bedside because once it's off your skin, the sensor cools down and once the sensor cools down, it knows to turn off. So you're not gonna be wasting battery and you don't necessarily have to turn it off yourself. It will just turn off. I can straight away though, sync it to my phone. So you press the button down, you do a long press until it starts flashing green really fast. And then you can press sync on the temp drop app and that will send your temperature from the night over to the temp drop app and it will automatically uh, plot it onto your temperature graph for you so that you can see it. Now, sometimes I sync it straight away in the morning, but if I'm in a rush and I've got to get up and get ready, I can come back to it at the nighttime and sync it in the nighttime. Putting my temp drop on in the nighttime will kind of jog my memory to go, have I synced it for today? And if I haven't already synced it, then I'll sync it um, before I put it on at night. And that's the routine. That's how I take my temperature. It takes like 
30 seconds in the night time and 30 seconds in the morning or a minute if I'm waiting for this one to beep and it's really easy and it allows me to track my cycle. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember, if you wanted to get either of these thermometers, the links will be down below as well as the discount codes as well. If you have any questions about basal body temperature tracking or if you wanted me to do a whole nother video about how to actually track your basal body temperature and the reasons why, then let me know and I can make that video. You can check out lots, lots more about basal body temperature tracking over on my Instagram, which is Brat Girl Health. It's a lot of fun over there and we learn a lot of things and I'll see you in my next video. Me and Sassy Buttercup. <laughs> I love the Powerpuff Girls. They were my favorite. They still are. I am definitely a blossom but like I just vibe so much with like this sassy buttercup right now. All right I will see you in my next video. My book The Bright Girl Guide is available worldwide. It's all about you understanding your menstrual cycle and your hormones.